the Muat Kentucky Fire Cure Cigar. Now, we could technically stop this review now because this is definitely a cigar that everyone should at least experience once. But let's cut this guy up and get on with the review anyways. All right, I'm not gonna beat around the bush on this one. I've had this cigar multiple times, or quite a few times actually, and the one thing that draws me in on this cigar more than anything else is the aroma of the wrapper. I mean, this is by far the most unique cigar that I've ever come across. The uh, wrapper has this mesquite, smoky campfire smell that just makes you think of barbecue. It just sounds, it just seems like one of those cigars I could see myself eating a plate of ribs or a barbecue sandwich and just have, enjoying this thing on the side. I mean, this is by far in my opinion, and I've had infused cigars and everything else, the most unique cigar I've ever tried. Let's talk a minute about my review stick here. Now this is Drew Estates Muwad. That's my Uzi weighs a ton, KFC, Kentucky Fire Cure Cigar. And the particular Vitola for the reviewed stick is called a Fat Molly. It's basically a five inch cigar with a 56 ring gauge. So it's a pretty decent sized stick. Now, construction wise, this is an imperfect stick. Now, my reviewed cigar has quite a few lumps and bumps and there's some soft spots, especially right here. It's almost like there's a hole in it. So fingers crossed, that's not gonna affect the smoke on this cigar, but this is definitely not a perfect cigar. Uh, appearance wise, I really like the look of the cigar. I think the way that it's designed, the color of the wrapper, especially the band, the band looks like something out of the old west or something that uh, looks like butcher paper at a barbecue shop. The band really complements this stick, especially when you smell it and you taste it and everything that it's about. This just looks like one of those old western barbecue campfire type cigars. So appearance wise, I think the cigar fits the flavor's profiles. But that's enough of me rambling. Let's actually light this guy up and see what all the flavors are about. Alright, right off the get-go, there's just this harsh tobacco that just kind of encompasses your whole mouth. I mean, I feel it all throughout my tongue, all through the roof of the mouth, everywhere. So, it's a pretty uh, intense flavor. So, I, I expect that this flavor will drop here in a second and move on to shift on to something else but from the get-go you just really notice that tobacco punch all right to the best of my knowledge i've never had this vitola before the one i've previously had and i've had it a few times is called just a friend i believe it's a six inch by 52 ring gauge so i'm curious to see how the flavors in this particular vitola differ from that one that one I did notice some creaminess and stuff that I picked up as I progressed through the smoke. So I'm curious to see if this one has some of the same flavor profiles or if it's actually a little different. Now, I'm still about a quarter inch into the cigar, uh, pretty close to a quarter inch, and I'm pretty much picking up still the same strong tobacco notes. And I don't taste any of that smoky flavor that you that I noticed when you uh, just smell the wrapper in the pre-lit cigar. However, when you retrohale, you do get a hint of those flavors just kind of introduced into the smoke. It's still like a tobacco flavor to it, but there's a hint of smokiness in there as well, as long in addition to a spice. So nothing uh, earth shattering or overwhelming yet, but I'll keep working on the cigar and I'll come back at the first uh, end of the first third and we'll see what these flavors transition into. All right, I was about to show you how great this ash is. I mean, it was hanging on like a champ, really solid look to it. And at the very last minute, it just kind of fell off and just completely messed up my shirt but it is what it is now overall this is a pretty woodsy tasting cigar there's hints of cedar that I pick up on the very tip of my tongue uh, there's some spices interjected into the smoke as well but for the most part it's a very woodsy cigar it's a little dry I wouldn't say it's so dry that you're dependent on some type of beverage or wa water or whatever you're drinking but for the most part it's a woodsy tasting cigar. Now in the retro hell, there's a little bit more of that spice. And in that spice, there's a hint of creaminess either. And this isn't a sweet cream or anything like that. It's just like a smoky, creamy flavor that just kind of feels like it thickens the smoke as you exhale through the retro hell. So I'd say the first third's been a pretty interesting stick. Now construction wise, you know, as I said in the beginning, it's not a perfect cigar. I mean, there's a little bit of wonkiness to the burn, but there's nothing here that in my opinion, it really requires my attention. I mean, it's fine. I, we'll see if it corrects itself as I progress through the smoke, but 
for the most part, I haven't had any issues. I'm getting great smoke output, as I would expect through a Drew Estate Scar. Um, the flavors are good, and especially for those of you that like whizzy tasting scars. I mean, this is definitely a whizzy tasting scar. There's not a whole lot of that smoky taste uh, every now and then. Like I said, you do pick up hints of it in the retrohale. If you do set the scar aside and just kind of let the flavors just sit in your palate or sit in your mouth for a little bit, uh, you do pick up hints of uh, smokiness there. But for the most part, the taste of the scar and the smell of the wrapper are actually two completely different things. And I still stand by my initial statement is just by the, the smell of the wrapper alone. Uh, it's just a cigar I still feel like everyone should experience. And flavor-wise, I think it is a good cigar. I'm enjoying it. It's just they're not, the flavors don't quite live up to the level of the aromas on the wrapper. And I'm not sure if I talked about the wrapper yet, but it's a, it's a Kentucky Fire Cured wrapper. It's an American, American wrapper, and I think I did hint at that in the beginning of this review. Uh, the binder and fillers, I believe, come from Nicaragua, uh, from Drew Estates, uh, factories down there. But um, like I said, it's, it's an enjoyable stick. It's one that I think this Batola doesn't wow me as much as the Just a Friend one did. Um, so at this point, I would highly recommend, if you if you never had this cigar, to try that size, and that is the 6x52. But I'm still enjoying it. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the other two thirds have to offer. So I'll come back in it with an update uh, once it hit the uh, bottom of the second third. Okay, I'm at the end of the second third, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this band before I burn it up. But I just want to kind of give a quick glimpse of what this band looks like. So as you can see, this is a very unique looking band. It just has a resemblance of butcher paper or something looks western or campfire-ish i mean it's just a really rustic cool looking band on the cigar uh, on the end it says uh subculture studios now the second third of the stick definitely improved for me it, the smoke got a lot creamier and i don't mean creamy in the sense that the smoke was sweet or anything like that it's just that it the smoke seemed to thicken and the flavors it just kind of blended into each other and this is definitely one of those cigars where you want to set it aside for a few minutes from time to time and I know traditionally you want to smoke slower but this is even more than that I think it's one where you just kind of set it aside for a few minutes uh, not so long that it burns out on its own but long enough to let those flavors just kind of marinate in your mouth and when you do that you really start picking up a lot of those smoky flavors and I don't mean smoke in the sense of a cigar smoke I mean more like the hickory, the mesquite type flavors just kind of start really dancing around inside the mouth. Um, it's just a really good tasting cigar. And once you do that, as you start puffing, you start noticing those flavors as well. I mean, it's, it's not uh, something that's in the forefront, but there's these hints of mesquite flavors that just kind of inject themselves into the smoke. And in the retro hell, there's also a spice and there's a little bit of a pepper in this cigar. It's not definitely nothing that is intense anything that really uh is offensive or, or attacks the sinuses it's just the light pepper that's kind of in the finish as well in the retro hell only is where i detect that one but overall it definitely improved in the second third i did enjoy the first third uh the second third was better uh it was just like i said woodsy with the uh, hickory and the mesquite also injected into the woodsy flavors every now and then there's a slight hint of bitterness that kind of hits the tip of the tongue i interpret it as cedar early on it, I'm not sure if it's cedar or not it, to me it resembles cedar it's just a it's it's nothing that's uh, major it's more of a minor flavor it just kind of hits the very tip of the tongue and it fades as quickly as it comes so i'll work uh on the scar and take it down as far as i can and i'll wrap up this review okay the smoke's getting a little hot so i'm I think I'm pretty much done with this stick. Now, the final third, I did have some construction issues. The uh, smoke output just completely dropped. I had to relight the cigar. And even after relighting, the smoke output wasn't as full as it was in the first two thirds of the cigar. It's Now, flavor-wise, the um, woodsy notes are pretty consistent in the uh, final third as they were in the second third. There's still that hints of cre that creaminess that I tasted in the second third where that smoke was just thick and chewy. I do get hints of that as well, just not as strong as I tasted in the midsection of the stick. Now, what also interjected itself into the smoke was a spice. The spice was a lot stronger in the final third. And the retro hell, there's a little bit more pepper than what I noticed early on. And I also picked up hints of earth and a slight taste of uh, a bitter leather that was on the tip of the tongue. And that may have been what I was tasting earlier, although I still think it probably more realistically was cedar. So 
The flavors did shift a little bit in the final third, um, and I did enjoy the final third. Uh, I think, however, I think the uh, second third was probably my favorite section of this stick. The final third was good. It just wasn't as solid as the second third. Now this is, like I said, this is the Fat Molly Vitola, so it's the 5x56. I think I paid around $8.39 for it. And it's a good cigar. I would definitely recommend it. However, if you've never had the cigar before, I'm going to recommend the Just, um, Just a Friend. The Just a Friend is the 6x52. And if I look back, I look back through some of my old notes and stuff, and that Vitola I seem to enjoy a little more. It seemed to be a little bit more of a creamy cigar, and that's where this cigar really shines. So definitely check this out. It's one that uh, if you've never had before, I think you'll be really impressed with the smells of the wrapper. And when you smoke it, if you just kind of set it aside, I think you'll start tasting those those aromas you picked up in the wrapper. You'll start picking hints of hickory and, and mesquite in the smoke too. So it's definitely an interesting cigar. And it's one that I keep saying that I want to try with a barbecue sandwich or something like that. I have yet to do that. So that's definitely next on my list to do. I'm going to pick another one of these guys up and go grab me some barbecue and just to see what the flavors change with the barbecue sandwich because it seems like this stick would really complement the flavors and something like that. So uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next review.